Oh, hey, I'm James Davis. I'm James Davis Art. So we've drawn a snail, an egg with a chick, and the Easter Bunny. Well, let's draw another really cool animal. Let's use all of the skills that we've learned so far in those previous drawings. And let's draw, hmm, let's draw a tiger. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so for this, we're going to need a pencil, a pen, and of course the paper. And you're going to need a rubber as well for rubbing out the pencil lines later on. So, a tiger. Well, let's start with drawing a circle. So, I'm going to draw my circle pretty much right in the middle of the page, giving about that much room left at the top. That'll do. Right, now, down at the bottom here, we're going to draw in two circles, sort of right in the middle of the circle. So, about that size. to be absolutely perfect. It's going to have to be exactly the same shape. but So about that size. Then underneath here we are going to draw um, an oval. So like that. Now we're going to draw in two more circles, so about just above the halfway point of this circle here, I'm going to put a circle in and about halfway across this large circle, so about there. And the same on the other side. I'm trying to keep these two the same size. Okay, right. Now, two more ovals at slight angles like that. And one on the other side. There we are. So you can start to see a face turning up now, can't you? Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to draw in the eyes. And obviously these two are going to be the eyes. So we're going to draw a straight line going across the top of this circle here. And the same on the other side at the same height. Okay. Now we're going to draw a line coming down like that. Okay, and we're going to draw a line in between these two circles, just going down to the top of that oval at the bottom. Right, and a couple of curves here coming in. So 
So resting on top of this circle and resting on top of that circle. So that will be the nose. Now we're going to draw in the outline of the head. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this line. In fact, we're actually we're going to start drawing in. You've probably drawn Christmas trees before. So we're going to use that sort of style of these little, a little bit like triangles, but they're basically to show kind of fur. And we're going to come out a little bit, we're going to come away from this circle and draw them coming straight, almost straight down until we get to about here and at halfway level with halfway across these two circles and then we're going to start bringing them in towards that bottom oval okay I'll do the same on the other side it's very kind of symmetrical this drawing and symmetrical means that it's the same on this side as it is on this side so try and keep it as as close to being the same as possible right and we can draw in the eyes we can go around this circle and bring that up to there and we can draw in the pupils So for the pupils, we're going to draw in semicircles right in the middle, just touching the top line there. And we're going to do a few more of these. kind of Christmas tree type fur, fur things there on the just on this part of the ovals. Now this bit if we start from say there so halfway on this edge we're just going to draw curved line going up like that and the same on the other side and then we're going to draw curved line up here and now we're going to start putting in some of the tiger stripes. And you can put you can put in the stripes pretty much any way you want, really. But try and keep it symmetrical. So having the same sort of stripes on this side as you do on this side. So I think I'm going to draw. Now stripes are always slightly wavy lines, so. I think I'm going to have a line like that and a big wavy line coming down here like that right down here
heading towards these two circles here. So a little bit like the capital letter E, but with that bit missing. So it's all a bit wavy. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So try to start roughly where this one begins up here. exactly the same. So there we have two large stripes at the side of the tiger's head. So we're going to draw in some more stripes now. I think we're going to have right here so a big curved line coming down there like that and this line coming sort of curving down towards his nose so we're going to copy that onto this side using our pen to colour in those stripes a bit later on. <clears throat> so there's a couple of the stripes. Now we're going to have a look at the eyes now. So this straight line that we've drawn heading downwards, we're going to put that at a slight angle so that it's coming in like that a little bit. And so we're just going to, if I show you on this one, just come in a little bit there and draw a line going down to the bottom of the straight line, like that. And then another line right next to it. So a line that's parallel with that line that you've just drawn. I'll colour that in so you can see what I mean. Just coming in a little bit like that. And this line we're going to give it a slight curve going over the eye and then we're going to have it lift about there so going up around the eye and then coming up at the corners there like that so it's already starting to look a bit tigery now Let's draw in two more stripes at the sides of his nose. So about there. And maybe he'll have a couple of stripes where his eyebrows would be. just a couple of curved lines to make those stripes. Now, tigers often have stripes sort of side 
going sideways across their forehead, if, if you like. So we'll do that. We're going to have, again, sort of wavy lines, a bit like this. A bit like leaves. bit like moustaches, like the Pringles man. So they, each one's getting slightly bigger as we get towards the top. Going to start making them a bit closer together here. Okay. So, now you can pause this video to make sure you've got the stripes in the right place if you wanted to copy it exactly how I've done it. But you can put the stripes wherever you want, really. Okay, so I think that's pretty much most of the stripes done. We do have to put some some stripes down here, but let's let's carry on with what we're doing. So you've drawn this line down the middle here, and now we're going to draw a line joining up with this circle. And the same on the other side, and following it for a right round like that. And then with the oval at the bottom, we're going to do more of these these sort of uh, spiky bits, but coming downwards and smaller. So a bit like that. And just follow the oval right round. Again, try to keep it as symmetrical as possible. Like that. And we're going to put two very small ovals onto his pupils as well, just to show that there's light reflecting off his, of his eyes. So, just sort of sideways ovals like that. Right, so for the last few stripes, so I think we're going to add in some stripes here. These are, these are where the whiskers would be coming from. So we're just going to do three. Like that. Just curved lines coming towards the middle there. And then copy it over onto the other side. Like that. So I think we're ready now <coughs> to use our pen we can start drawing in some of these lines. So let's start with the ear. Now we're going to leave that bit there 
We're going to leave that white because that's one of the tiger's markings. It has these lovely white spots on the backs of its ears. So we'll leave that like that. Colouring in some of these, these stripes. And of course, you probably already know the stripes are very important to the tiger because they help it to camouflage, which means blend into its surroundings. when it's uh, hunting for food. So if you've ever tried to sneak to a snack cupboard or something like that, you try to blend in so no one's going to see what you're doing. It's just like a tiger. So just follow those lines around. And start to draw in the, these lines on the eyes. And then the pupils, remembering to leave in the the little white reflective white dots there. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to because um, right-handed. I'm trying to work my way across the page like that so I don't start smudging or blurring any of the uh, pen. Oh, having said that, I've forgotten to do this ear. So, very careful. Let's draw this stripe in. So I'll have to try and even it up on this side. Of course you could use paints or colouring pencils. If you are using paints, It might be easier to paint the orange and all the other colours on first and then paint the stripes on afterwards. So there is the tiger's nose, which I'm going to actually just Colour them black. So I've gone round those circles there, all the way around with the pen. Now I'm going to just go around the outline. So you don't have to have it perfectly straight there because obviously it's fur, so you want it to look a little bit I don't want it to look too perfect and then follow these round Let's 
same with the other side. I'm just colouring these a little bit more, make these ones, these lines a little bit thicker. And there we have it. Right, so all you need to do now is take your rubber and just rub out these remaining pencil lines. Actually, I'm going to draw in a couple more of these spiky. So remember to, when you're using your rubber, if you just follow the pencil lines the way that the pencil lines, so say this pencil line's going up here, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to follow the pencil line with the rubber rather than rubbing it across, it takes forever. So it's much easier just to follow the line with the rubber, like so. And there we have it. There is a tiger. So if you were colouring in this picture, which I'm going to do in a minute, but I'll speed all that up because it can get quite uh, long. So if you're colouring in this picture, I would do orange for the main part of the face, maybe some yellows, reds, browns, um, but mainly orange, his cheeks, are those the cheeks, or his, whatever those are, would be white, and so would his chin, and obviously white for these dots at the top, in fact, look, there's another line that I've, I've forgotten to put in. go. And white around his, these fur bits here. It's up to you. You can do the tiger whatever colour you like really. Well I hope you enjoyed that and if you draw any pictures of tigers send me a photograph of your work and maybe I'll put it at the end of the next video. Well Thanks for watching. See you next time.